Hi, today we're going to take a look at the small rig camera cage for the Sony a6500. But before we do that, I want to share with you a few products that we recently received and we are going to review here very soon. The first is the Aperture Deity. Now this boom microphone, which we are actually using right now and we're using to record this entire video with, uh, is a very interesting product. It comes in this hard case. Actually, all the products that we are going to talk about today comes in this hard cases, which is a really nice trend by a lot of Chinese manufacturers. The second product also comes from Aperture. This is the Very ND. This is an adapter between a lenses from Canon and Sony E-mount cameras. Very interesting adapter. It allows you to add a variable ND filter and a few other very interesting things. So we're really looking forward to testing this thing. Now, beside both of these, the third product that we're going to look at in the very near future is the crane by Zion Tech. Now, we already looked at the Smooth Q, which is a smartphone gimbal by the same manufacturer. This is a professional motorized gimbal for DSLRs and uh, basically mirrorless cameras. And we're going to test it in the very near future and let you know what we think about it. This is the second generation of this uh, product, of the crate. So this is going to be also very interesting. But before all of these, today we're going to take a look at the small rig camera cage for Sony a6500. So let's take a look. Today we're going to take a look at a compact and relatively inexpensive cage for the Sony a6500. We have been using the camera for the past several months now and having a cage for connecting accessories as well as carrying the camera around more easily is certainly something that we recommend. Small Rig makes a large number of camera gear accessories and mounting units. We actually bought quite a few of their cheese plates and connectors in the past and they make some very decent yet affordable products. We started using the a6500 a few months ago. Initially we shot with our older DIY camera cage and while it definitely works, it feels too large and cumbersome for such a small camera, so we decided to look at something smaller. The small rig A6500 is the first of what might be a number of cages that we will be looking on here for the camera. It is a very straightforward cage, all metal of course, but it does have a few interesting features. Let's start with a general look around the cage. It is a very thin cage, most of it consists of a single line of quarter inch 20 threads. You do have two lines on the right with two extra 3 8 screws as well. On the top right you have a cold shoe and you have another cold shoe on the optional handle. If you don't use the handle, you also have access to the hot shoe of your camera. You of course have the obligatory cutout for the battery and memory card slot on the bottom and a quarter inch 20 screw for connecting the camera in the center. Sadly, this isn't a toolless cage. You will need a flat screwdriver to connect the camera to the cage as the screw isn't a thumb screw and you can't replace it with one. You will also need an Allen key to connect the optional handle, which you do get if you order the cage kit with the handle. Talking about the handle, this might be the biggest thing that we would change in this cage. It is a decent enough handle, but we actually prefer the feel of our older cage handle with a rubber grip. And more importantly, the handle is fixed in its position. The reason why this is a problem is that if you want to use the viewfinder on the a6500, especially when shooting in the sun without a bright enough external monitor, the handle is stuck in the way. Now you can unscrew it and put it in the other side, but this isn't super convenient in our view and doing this each time we want to use the viewfinder is out of the question. What we would like to see is a rubber handle version with the option to connect and release the handle without tools for quick transport and storage and with the option of rotating the handle 90 degrees to better use the viewfinder on the camera. Another thing that we got from Small Rig was a small lock for the HDMI. It is a nice addition and it sort of works, but we feel that it needs a better design with two screws instead of just one and maybe a lock for all three connectors. We do use both the HDMI, USB and mic jack at the same time, so it would be nice to have something that holds all of them in place. 
One very cool feature that many users might appreciate is the design of the bottom section of the cage. It is basically a large Arca Swiss plate so you can place the cage directly into an Arca Swiss compatible head and lock it very tightly in place. Very nice, although of course for video production longer fluid head style plates are much more common. Talking about quick release plates, as we have noted before in a different video, we prefer the Manfrotto RC2 plate system, even when we use it in conjunction with longer video plates. We can easily place an RC2 plate on the bottom of the cage, however, even though this helps us place the entire system very quickly on a base, removing the actual camera from the cage, for example for shooting stills, which is something that we often do and prefer not to do with the cage attached if we don't have to, can't be done easily like we could with our old DIY cage, which included an RC2 for the camera itself, a design which would be impossible with such a small cage, of course. So let's conclude this short review of the small rig A6500 cage. This unit is well built, compact, support Arca Swiss heads out of the box and can help you build a very nice portable system around your Sony camera. There are some things that can be improved in this cage as well, especially in the handle as we have mentioned, although to be fair this is an optional accessory and small rig does have a few other handles, although none seem to do exactly what we suggested here. But if small rig will decide, they can easily come up with a different type of handle that will be rubberized, removable and rotatable without the use of tools and we really hope that they will indeed consider this idea. As for pricing, the cage alone costs just under $80 with the handle costing around $37 and the specific HDMI cable clamp that we got selling for around $20. So this was our look at the Sony A6500 cage by Small Rig. You can read the full review on lensvid.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. As always, you have a lot of videos coming up on this channel, so stay tuned. See you next time.